not a trite statement. I will not be at work. You see, because this is something I believe with every fiber in my being, that I'm at this point, an appointed time for right now. We will have a campaign like this state has never seen. Volunteers, it, I, I assure you, nothing, what, what's getting ready to happen in our campaign has never happened in the state of Oklahoma since I've been alive or since I've been knowing anything about politics. People are from all four corners of this state. I barely even sounded the rallying call yet. And people are coming out of the woodwork. And it's it's because of what they're hearing of my message of freedom. And, I, you know, that is about as basic as I get. I want to expand your freedom. I want to contract the influence and the change of government. It's that simple. Because only when we are able to release the genius of the individual can we truly prosper and grow. So we're going to win this race, and we're going to have we're going to have a, a camp a strategy number one. We're not just going all over the place. Oh, let's go here and let's go there. Except to do, do, do that today, you know, because you were close. Uh, <laughs> and as soon as I leave here, I'm going home. But we're going to have a very methodical, a very well planned, and a well oiled grassroots. Uh, operation and it's going to uh, it, I think it's going to you're going to be excited the further we get down the road the more excited you're going to be and your investment in my campaign will be well worth it yes sir um, you spoke about you and, and you uh, started a business here in Oklahoma you paid the outrageous workers comp premiums right um, I, what could you do as governor to make it easier to to start build a business here um, I know you know not only do we have the workers comp you know uh, the income tax right. and there, there's other things that just they just kill businesses and, and small business owners especially mm -hmm. what what kind of things would you help promote or, 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 or sponsor to to make it easier to start and build a business here well we have a very regressive and oppressive tax structure number one my goal would be to get rid of the income tax first and foremost get rid of it. That just, oh, what do we do? What, you know, politicians go nuts <laughs> when they hear that. Uh, how are we going to spend, spend your money if we don't get it from your income? Uh, we collect $3 billion a year in income tax. That's from your fruits of your labor. So we take it from you and give it to me so we can deal it out the way we want to deal it out. And we expand government at a very rapid rate. I mean, you guys know the numbers probably better than I do how, how uh, Oklahoma's I think we're in like the top 12 in, in per capita employees in, in government or top 14 something like that get rid of the income tax get rid of the capital gains tax create property a level tax. playing field huh property tax you know uh, that is probably the the worst tax because <laughs> it's protected in our Constitution yeah. I mean you know it, it, it spelled out in the Declaration of Independence. Life, liberty, and property. Yep. So that should be the number one, but Bob, I'll be honest with you, I have not figured out and studied that how to do that. Obviously, we would have to get a total, complete new funding source for the schools, or your plan for the schools, <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> so uh, so set, it, set a level playing field. Give an opportunity for businesses to to thrive and prosper rather than just beating us down and make it hard to get up and turn the light switch on and go to work every day you know uh, our, our taxes and regulations will be a big part and it's going to be more about creating than uh, creating a, a, a level playing field rather than government hand-picking which businesses we're going to bless with your money that's just that's just wrong that's what we have I would, I would like to ask you one other thing mm -hmm. You're going to have a unique problem, I think, in that you're going after a lot of people that are on the bottom that have never contributed right. a dollar to a political campaign in their life. Therefore, they don't know how to do it. And, and we have 
as an, uh, we have an attorney general, you can't say this, I can, that's a terrorist. If you, if you're wearing, Senator Latter. Yeah, if you're, <laughs> if you've got a, a Republican flag on, he's going to terrorize you. And uh, so how can those on the bottom that want to contribute a little bit of money yeah. and not hurt our candidate, right. how can they do that? And what, what are the limits? And I think maybe everybody yeah. knows that, but well, those on the bottom. The, the limits, uh, the limits are 5,000 per family, per election cycle. So you can contribute 5,000 through a primary, 5,000 through a runoff, and 5,000 through a general election, okay? Uh, huh? No, it no. says for the whole campaign. No, it's for the whole campaign. You sure? I thought it was for election cycle. Okay, I just got veto, $5,000. <laughs> Man. Well, we got protected from the Attorney General. Now on my website, randybrogdon.com, uh, I think you can uh, contribute as little as $5 all the way up to 5,000. And I, there is my money bomb, Brady, I don't even think I've told you this, but I got either eight or 10 pages of, of my computer printout going through the numbers. And uh, I had ten, literally 10 pages, $5 donations, $10 donations, $50 donations, a hundred, $17,000 worth in one day. Let me tell you what, five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks helps yeah, because good. those are votes. Mm -hmm. Those are votes. So a guy that gets, I need just enough money to get my message out. Yeah. I need just enough money so I can stay on the road and go to all the chicken dinners and shake the hands and kiss the babies and get my message out. <laughs> That's what I need, yeah. you know. And at the end, I'll, I'll need some advertising money because I'll, I'll need to do some uh, advertising on, on TV to, you know, to be a, a solid... I, I, I've had a favorite phrase I use for years, especially when I drive around the state capital area. Uh, I, with a friend one time, we passed the Department of Agriculture, and I, you know, when it was new, right. uh, another monument to bureaucracy. Yeah. And of course, they've expanded here recently. Yeah. And uh, what are you going to do specifically to try to reduce, not just stay even, just to reduce yeah. the size of state government, which I understand is we have some of the highest per capita number of bureaucrats. Yes, we do. In Oklahoma, uh, and uh, we're just so top heavy. And, and what are you going to do to, to maybe eliminate certain departments, reduce others? Yeah. No, that sort of thing. What will I do to reduce? I will reduce. Now, that is not a good thing to have on a, on a camera right now, but it's the truth. I'm not going to shy away from it. We need to make sure that government, I'm talking about state government now, because that's, that's where the avenue that I work in, make sure that what state government we have provides only the very basic necessity, fundament, uh, necessities and, and fundamental uh, areas that government should be funding. That's it. You know, should we be building an Indian culture center or uh, uh, what did we do yesterday? We passed, two, uh, Wednesday, we passed another unconstitutional bond issue uh, with low water dams in Tulsa, which I stood and debated on the Senate floor last year, and I said, uh, open the Oklahoma Constitution, you can't do that, you can't indebt the public, it says, without a vote of the people. This body has no constitutional authority to do that. There were only two no votes on that bill. Well, guess what? The state Supreme Court at the beginning of the session this year said, y'all can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's against the Constitution. Oh, okay. Well, so what we do, we brought it back in a different form and we did it again. Tuesday, pass it off again. I was one of 10 no votes this time. There were 10 of us. <laughs> 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 Bob, uh, the key asked about uh, people who have never been involved before in the uh, right. local campaigns. Well, I have never com ever contributed to anybody running for governor on a Republican ticket or, you know, Congress because the quality's just not there, the leadership's not there. Right. But, uh, but you're the first Republican candidate for governor that I am going to I appreciate contribute that, to. I appreciate that. Very I think much. there's a lot of people who like, like that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how many people in this room, uh, but I have just... Uh, recently begun to, to help finance some of the different Republicans because there's quality there, although I'm not always happy with some of the votes the Republicans do cast. Right. 
But the other thing is this, 